And listen, think about this. Department stores are practicing medicine for almost 20 years. We think it's all right. Let's say you go over to Sears and Roebuck just to look around. And by the way, if you notice, that's what we all do at Sears now. Nobody buys anything over there. <laughs> well, you're off this afternoon. What you going to do? Well, I'll tell you. I think I'll go over to Sears and look around. <laughs> all right. You're over at Sears. You're in the lower level of the basement. That's the hardware department. All you're doing is checking out what's new with Black & Decker. You ain't going to buy nothing. You're just looking. Now you get ready to leave. You go around the lawnmowers. Okay? Well, let me interrupt this a minute. Lawnmowers. On every lawnmower you've ever seen, not a sticker, not a label, embedded, molded into steel so you can't ever erase it. It says, keep hands and feet away from blade. You know what that means? Sometime in the past. Some nut has said to his wife, Honey, come here, let's trim them toenails of yours. <laughs> anyway. All right. All right, now, you're, you're leaving Sears, you're headed toward the... Oh, you, listen, you know what else you do while you're there? You always take time to look at that 72-drawer tool chest. Every Sears store has one. They've never sold the darn thing. <laughs> Nobody wants it. It weighs a ton and a half. Where would you put it? They put it on sale twice a year. Nobody buys it. I grew up going my daddy to look at that. He'd sit in the Sunday morning paper. He'd say, look at him, Junior. That was me. I see Sears has got that 72 drawer tool chest on sale again. You want to go over there after dinner and look at it? I'd say, yeah, I'll go with you over there. See, I guess that that's what's really wrong with this country today. Sons don't go with their dads to look at toolboxes no more. I bet you that there's some of you in here that never went with your daddy to look at paneling. See? My dad didn't need no paneling. He just liked to look at it. He said in the paper on Sunday morning, he'd say, look at him, Junior. <laughs> I see they got that paneling on sale again. You want to go over that there and look at it? I'd say, yeah, I go with you over there. Anyway. <laughs> and I'll tell you something else, too. I'm going to see my dad again Monday. If he wants to go look at something else, hell, I'm going to go with him. <laughs> you ain't got but one daddy, you know. All right, now, we, we, we're still in that Sears store, ain't we? we got to move along. Now, all right, you're leaving Sears, headed toward the door. On your way out, you bump into an optometrist. <laughs> Listen to me, there's an eye doctor working in the basement of Sears. Don't you know that his mom and dad are real proud of him? <laughs> Think about his parents. They're the ones that mortgage the house, cashed up the life insurance to educate this twerp, <laughs> hoping someday to brag on him. Hey, George, that son of yours, well, I went to college for 13 years. Where's he working now? Sears. <laughs>